the Bible in silos. And we're trying to understand and interpret scripture in isolation. There are no isolated doctrines in scripture. When the scripture says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and thieves do break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt neither worth, nor thieves do break through and steal. We see the Bible said it right there. Don't lay up treasures on earth. It didn't say don't lay up treasures on earth. It said don't lay up treasures for yourself on earth. I'm not supposed to lay up treasures for myself on earth. I'm supposed to lay up treasures for my son, my daughter, my grandchildren, my unborn grandchildren. That's who I'm supposed to be laying up treasures for. The scripture says, if a man provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he's denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. It doesn't say if a man doesn't attend church, he's denied the faith and worse than an infidel. I'm not saying you shouldn't attend church. I'm just saying, I'm, not, I'm just telling you what the Bible said. The Bible said. It didn't say if a man doesn't pray three times a day facing to the east, he's denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Here's what it says. If a man provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Why? Here's why. Because the Hebrew word for father, the Hebrew word for father is the word, I'm waiting for that thing to disappear, is the word Abba. It's spelled with two letters. Aleph bait. Every Hebrew letter has a meaning. So the letter that represents, the Aleph is the letter that represents God. It's the wor- le- beginning of the word Elohim, El Shaddai, right? Um, so um, that represents God. This represents house. A bait is the house. And we, we knew that bait is the house because we heard the word bait. We've heard, we say Bethlehem, but it's actually bait lechem, right? Bait lechem means the house of bread. Why? Because bait is a house and lechem is bread. Bait lechem. And so we say Bethlehem, but it's actually bait lechem, right? So it's two words. So God in the house, the word Abba means God in the house. If you are a man and you don't provide for your own house, you are misrepresenting God to your family. That's why it says he's denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Why? Because God is the progenitor of the house. He's the promoter of the house. He's the provider of the house. He's the protector of the house. If he's not doing those things, he's misrepresenting God to his, to his family. I, I, I know I'm coming at you all kind of strong. 